Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ayana. If you are new here, and today's video is going to be all about hair, specifically how to create a healthy hair care routine to where you finally start to see growth and length retention. So many of us are struggling to get our hair past one length and year after year, it's the same length. These hair care tips are gonna be universal. Everyone can use it, whether you're natural, relaxed, or in between. Although I know your hair care needs are different from mine, these are gonna be something that we all can use and benefit from. So jumping right into the video, I'm gonna get started. Tip number one is going to be to get your scalp health in order. For me, I had dandruff and dry scalp for years and I thought it was normal. My family members used to scratch the dandruff out of my head before they washed my hair. You know, when I went to the hair salon, I would literally have flakes falling out of my hair as she's styling it and that would just be normal for me. It's not a normal state. If you have any scalp issues, you really wanna address it because you are never going to grow your thickest, fullest, healthiest head of hair if your scalp health is not in order. For me, it was as simple as switching to all natural hair oil, which you guys know my holy grail miracle oil was Unlay. It really cleared up my scalp and my hair growth took off after using this product. But you may need to see a dermatologist, um, a trichologist, a holistic specialist, whoever you see to assess your health and the health of your skin and scalp because ultimately if you wanna retain Len, that's gonna have to get done. So that's step number one. Step number two is to get your wash routine in order. Ladies, a lot of us are losing so much length in our wash routine. Whether you're not detangling when you wash properly and you're just tearing through your hair, um, whether you just are manipulating your hair too much by washing too often, whether your hair is drying out, becoming matted and tangled after you wash because of the shampoo that you're using. Maybe you're using a clarifying shampoo or a very lathering shampoo and you need a moisturizing shampoo. These things are going to ultimately cause breakage. And so you really wanna get your wash routine in order. If you haven't seen my wash day video, I'm gonna link it above now. Guys, this routine that I have here has helped me tremendously in retaining length and perfecting my wash day routine. I hardly lose any hair doing this method when I self wash. So check it out, it really may help you. But also consider extending your wash time. So if you wash every week, try pushing it to two weeks. Again, if your scalp health is in order, that really shouldn't be a problem. For me, I wash between two, three weeks, uh, depending. A lot of the times I push to three weeks. So I manipulate my hair a little over 12 times for my washing for the year. Um, so it's between 12 and 24 times for the year, right? If I wash bi-weekly. That's a lot less than someone who's manipulating their hair 48 times per year if they're washing every week. So really take that into account because the more you manipulate your hair, especially when it's fragile and wet and easy to break, the more likely you're going to not be able to retain length. So keep that in mind. Now we're gonna go into number three and that is to limit the amount of heat. Guys, I put heat in my hair once a month. That's 12 times for the year. <laughs> I know that is a little bit extreme. That may be difficult for some of you, but Again, you guys see my before and after. I grew my hair from neck length to mid back in a year, under a year. So guys, it can be done. You can gain a healthy head of hair, grows about six inches per year. If you're not getting six inches, you're doing something wrong. So keep that in mind and, and understand that it can be done. And one of the things that will help is to limit heat. I put heat, direct heat, only on my roots my new growth once a month when I get my hair style. Other than that, I'm roller setting and I'm sitting under a dryer. I leave with my hair pin curled. My stylist wraps it around her finger and just pins it and that's how I leave. And I have a full head of vibrant, curly, bouncy, voluminous curls without having to use a flat iron, a curling iron. Those things are killing your ends and that's why you're not retaining length. So consider limiting the amount of heat that you use on your hair try to do low heat styles, no heat style, and you will really see your hair growth start to take off. Now my fourth tip is to really get your moisture, protein balance in order. 
this one is a little bit harder for me to tell you exactly what to do because your hair care needs for moisture and protein are different from mine, right? I don't go too deep in my channel into porosity, but that is really gonna affect your hair care needs and everyone's porosity is different. So one thing that I would recommend is start experimenting with product. When I wash, that's the only time that I moisturize and seal. During the week, I do not. Until my next wash time, I only use my unlay spray and that works for me. Guys, figure out what works for you. You know, you have to experiment with that, unfortunately, because it's gonna be different, like I said, from everyone. Also, with my deep conditionings, I alternate um, between protein and moisture. But assess your hair because I don't stick to any strict routine when it comes to that if my hair is excessively dry i may skip my protein deep conditioning and then instead do moisture back to back so really be flexible but also you have to experiment you just have to give it a try and see what works for you and then my last tip is to manipulate your hair as little as possible guys i know we want to look fly and style our hair and do as much but the less you manipulate your hair, the more likely you are to retain length. For me, again, you see these protective styles have been in for three months, okay? I've learned little ticks and trips to make them last, but I'm keeping them in, right? I don't put in my protective style for two weeks or a month. I keep my protective styles in for quite some time. This is gonna get me to four months. So that's one way to limit your manipulation. Another way is to do low manipulation styles where you just braid up your hair or put your hair in a bun and tuck the ends and tie it down and keep it that way for a week. The less your hands are in your hair, the more you're going to retain length because manipulation causes breakage. The more you do it, the more breakage, unfortunately, you're gonna have. So those are my tips, guys. I really hope that that was helpful. If it was, give me a like, share to anyone else who may be on a journey and can benefit from this uh -huh. video. <laughs> my dog wants to go out. Um, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.